Hello everybody, this is Suman Pachugula here and we have a guest here, Georgiana from Romania. She is not only a co-founder of a company, recruiting company, but she does recruiting by herself as well. So for that, it definitely needs an interest to get into the real place and do things by themselves, not only just guiding people to do how it should be done, but doing it by themselves. And you see how beautiful she is and the secret is She's a yoga addict as well. So now I officially welcome you, Georgiana, to speak to Suman Show. And now the dice is yours. So before we Thank get you. into more details, so could you please let us know about you, where you come from, and what made you to come into recruiting industry, and how do you see it now? Absolutely. So thank you for having me. First things first, um, you know, I'm, I'm so glad that you know we have the chance to discuss and get to know each other. Um, so a bit about myself, you know, as, as you mentioned, um, I'm a recruiter, but also a co-founder. So I have a partner and we're working together to actually, you know, not just uh, perform uh, uh, recruitment tasks. And that said, we definitely wish to make a change in this industry. And I think slowly, slowly we started to. So a bit about myself, I started as an um, agency recruiter, which is um, obviously uh, probably a lot of recruiters started like that. And I kind of experienced all type of roles in all industries, right? Um, and especially at that time, it was more of a local recruitment. Um, and then, of course, obviously, I switched in-house and uh, I've moved um, in, in a fintech company where I was basically recruiting for, um, you know, EMEA region in general, which was very exciting because I got to understand a bit more about how other sort of, um, you know, locations work. And then um, I also took a personal decision and I relocated myself to Cyprus for about four years. And that was a very exciting experience as well for a telco company. And it was still uh, EMEA recruitment. Um, and I think all of those experiences got me a bit prepared for the next step, which I took two years ago uh, in opening up Talentocrat, which is basically a recruitment uh, marketing agency. So definitely I would say it's focused not just on the traditional way of doing things in, in recruitment. It's more about making sure that we bring along innovation and combining it very nicely with marketing in general. So that's basically how it started uh, with, with our company. We're very excited. We've, um, you know, we've done some great things, you know, in kind of improving the relationship with candidates. And, you know, I'm happy to, to talk a bit more on that. Um, but just a summary of, of myself, this is how uh, it looks like. I have around nine years of experience, local recruitment, international recruitment, mainly in the region, right, because of the time zones and, and everything else. But um, then, you know, of course, I also had a lot of exposure with relocations, right, more complicated situations that and exciting as well. So that's uh, that's a bit on, on me. Yeah. So, um, you know, you were mentioning earlier, Saman, about the the whole situation about how I see right recruitment um, yes. at this point. Um, so with this whole pandemic situation, I think it was a very good opportunity to, um, you know, see that we can definitely improve processes overall. Um, and one of the biggest things that happened, obviously, that everyone talked about was working remotely, which opened up a lot of conversations as well, good and bad at the same time. Um, and I think for me personally, this was a very good move in terms of um, having the opportunity to perform jobs remotely, not necessarily being tied up to a specific location. So I think that's actually a very, very important step. I think overall, there is a bit more focus on on, um, on candidates' experience, which I think it has been neglected for a very, very long time. And I think companies nowadays shouldn't be just uh, expecting to act as they did two years ago. Things have changed you know, dramatically. 
And, um, you know, because I do have experience in IT recruitment specifically just in that, uh, actually I recruited some other profs as well, but my focus and my passion is, is the IT and development overall. I would say that specifically for this sort of industry, things have to be very nicely combined with not just looking at a candidate experience as it was in the past, right? So you have, you know, the traditional ways of doing things, but more of looking at a candidate from a client's perspective. That's how it's supposed to be. So I, I think one of the, the most important things is that I emphasize this with my clients all the time, just for them to understand that this is not uh, the recruitment as it used to be. And in general, what we do as recruiters is completely changed from what we were doing a couple of years ago. Um, you know, now you have to be a very good social media uh, person. You have to be a very strong marketing person as well. You have to combine and come up with creative and innovative ideas. You have to keep up with all the tools and the tasks. Um, well, actually tools from um, efficient um, way of doing things, right? Because, um, you know, we have so many tools that we could use and make our lives easier. Uh, and I think this is also a very important thing. You know, you have the tools, just make sure that you use it correctly. Because another thing that you don't want to do is to have a lot of tools, uh, you know, in, in one place. And then instead of you using it in your favor, the tools to basically use your time in the way that you don't want it. So I'm, I'm talking this also from experience, you know, having too many tools uh, yes. versus just keeping the ones that you find useful. So, so yeah, I think this is a very yeah. big conversation overall. No, absolutely, <laughs> it definitely helps the people who are listening to it, Georgiana. So yes, getting uh, being used by the tools, meaning the becoming a slave to the tools, right? And right. I mean, forgetting that a human uh, real powers and what is that uniqueness someone has, or just depending on the tools and getting addicted to it. You know, absolutely. And when 